Okay, the recording has begun. Uh, it is um, 3.05 on um, January 13th. Okay. Zoom meeting, um, the, this is a web-based call, so we are operating under the following procedures. This session is being audio recorded. Please be advised that today we are also recording the video proceedings. We will not use the we will not use the chat feature in this meeting to ensure good sound quality. The default rule for this meeting is that everyone will remain on mute. Board members and staff will generally remain on mute except when speaking or voting. Public comment will only be accepted during the public hearing portion of the meeting, which we've already had. I don't know somebody keeps calling me. I'm, I'm sorry. It's coming on my phone here. Um, the chair will announce when the hearing is open and we'll ask for, we're not asking for public comments. Uh, if a member of the public creates an audio or video disruption, they may be manually ejected from the meeting upon recommendation of staff or the chair. Um, I think that's it on that. Um, call to order. Um, are we, um, well, Michelle, you're not an alternate, right? So you're in? Okay. She's on mute, I can't hear her, so. We've got all so, five regular members, so you're- We have all out. five regular members, so there's no uh, there's no appointments of alternates today. Um, good afternoon, the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting at Town of Waterford is now in session this 13th day of January. All decisions of the board are final in accordance with the Connecticut General Statute Section 8-8B. Any person aggrieved by any decision of the board may take an appeal to the Superior Court. And this appeal shall be commenced in be commenced in accordance with section 8-8F and G within 15 days from the date of the notice of decision was published as required by general statutes. I'm sorry, someone keeps calling me. Um, the Zoning Board of Appeals recording secretary will now take roll. We've already done that. Well, we have to take roll for this meeting. So Don's gonna call everybody's name. Um, Kathy Newland. Yeah. Warren McKenzie. Present. Michelle Cripps. Here. Ann Darling. Here. And Joshua Freeman, I'm here. Okay. Um, so I guess the, we need to call the alternates names, even though they're not here just for the record. So we have I don't see any alternates right now. So, right. But for the record, we have to call roll of all members. So that would be Danielle McCarty, who's absent. She's here. Nope, she's signed off. Okay. Jason Marieski. Jason Marieski. Darcy Van Ness. And Darcy Van Ness, all are absent. Okay. All right, now we can continue. No, we're not doing old business. We're just doing this application, is that correct? That is old business, yep. Okay, all the next business in order to discuss the application tabled on January 6th regular meeting. The application ZBA-20-8, appeal of Harry F. and Judith A. Haynes, trustees, owners, Harry F. Haynes, applicant, and Brian Florek, LS, agent at 241 Shore Road, R40 zone. A variance is requested from zoning regulations, sections 5.4.2, side yard setback variance 9.6 feet to allow side yard setback of 15.4 feet. Variance is required to construct an addition to an existing home as shown on plan entitled Property Survey Land Belonging to Harry F. and Judith A. Haynes, Trustees from 241 Shore Road, Waterford, Connecticut, dated 9 30, 2020. Um, is there a motion on the floor to approve or deny this application? I move that we approve the motion. We, did we already set a motion before? Uh, no, that we've tabled all of that, so we can take. Okay, so we have to make a motion. Somebody has to make actually make a motion and then second it. Does anybody want to make a motion on this? Um, Michelle just the, made the motion, and I'll second it. Thank you, Kathy. What's the motion? You didn't. You didn't state the motion. No, Michelle did. She, yes, no, she mo did. made a motion to approve. Okay, for with what reasons? That's, we need to have a, we need to have a reason. Right, so you can open this oh. discussion. All right. So with that, is that when we determine the reason? Yeah, and then what we can do okay. after we've discussed it, you can restate your motion. If you wanna add or re remove okay. anything to your motion, maybe add conditions, it's all <coughs> incorporate all right. so, any staff findings, that sort of thing. Okay, so we've had a motion and, and Kathy accepted or seconded it. So is there a discussion? 
Nobody wants to. Does anybody, anybody have something to say with that um, why they I, want to I this motion? The I believe that the applicant provided all the information. I don't think to um, uh, okay this um, just to go ahead with their decision to build would not be a detriment or a bad thing for the neighborhood. Um, all their neighbors are in favor of it. I've looked at the property and I don't see that it will hinder that area or the neighborhood at all. Okay. Anybody it's else have anything to say? It's also in keeping with the neighborhood and it is already a pre-existing um, non-conforming. I, I would add that they're, they're not increased in the non-conformity. They're just following what's already non-conforming. Anything else? So um, all those in favor of this motion? Aye. 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 Oh, that's uh, unanimous um, to approve the motion. The motion passes. I think. Um, and Josh, you voted. I didn't. Yes, I said aye. Okay. Yep. All right. I didn't. I didn't see. Okay. I thought I did. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. I just didn't see or hear you. So thank you. All right. Okay. Um, that's it. Okay, so adjournment. Is there any is there a motion on the floor to adjourn? My motion that we adjourn. Second, we got a second. I'll okay. second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye, guys. Aye. All right, thank you, everybody. Happy to work. See you next month. Okay. Yeah, see ya. Thank, thank you, Jill. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.